Hello, I'm Roxanne Missingham, the University Librarian at the Australian National University, and I am delighted to welcome you to our video Tunnel Vision, which shows some remarkable treasures that we have at the University in our archives. We have almost 22 kilometres of archival material that has been collected for more than 50 years that has extraordinary treasures that tell you about Australia's business, about Australia's trade unions, about Australia's social and financial systems, and we are increasingly making this available digitally. As you fly through some of our archives, I hope you enjoy the experience and appreciate the wonderful work that has been done by archivists and academics collecting a treasure house of Australian information over the last 50 years. Thank you. Welcome to the Australian National University Archives, incorporating the University Archive, the Noel Butlin Archive Centre, the Pacific Research Archive and the National AIDS Archive. Over the last 60 years, we've acquired more than 20 kilometres of historic records, including records of significant Australian companies, trade unions, industry bodies and activists. We also have material from the late 1920s relating to the history of the ANU and its predecessors, research material from and about the Pacific Islands from anthropologists, linguists, geographers and historians who lived and worked there, and records documenting the history of AIDS education and prevention from government agencies, community-based organisations and individuals. Australia's first stock exchange was formed in Melbourne in 1861, with other capital cities having their own exchanges by the late 1880s and operating independently until amalgamating in 1987. The ANU archives holds many important records of all original exchanges, including board mem minutes and member files. These Sydney stock exchange stock and share lists show closing share prices for three trading sessions each day. Researchers have used these lists to trace the fortunes of individual Australian companies and whole industries between 1901 and 1950. In 1835, John Tooth and Charles Newham opened the Kent Brewery in Sydney. From 1905, the company expanded by taking over the New South Wales Malting Company's works at Mittagong. Many local breweries, including the Castlemaine Brewery, and in 1929 they acquired Resch's Limited. From the 1920s to the 1970s, Tooth & Company acquired hotels throughout New South Wales, some of which re they rebuilt in the Art Deco style of the 1930s. The company's yellow cards are a popular collection for those researching brewing, architecture, family history and local history. The Australian National University Archives is one of 12 custodians of the minute books of pre-Federation Australian trade unions included in the UNESCO Australian Memory of the World Register. These minute books are a record of democracy for workers, both men and women. They document the formation of our current industrial relations system, the early history of communities and industries, and working lives that are no longer accessible today. The minute books record events and achievements as they happened and disputes that developed into general strikes or became the first steps in broader campaigns such as that for the eight hour day. The Australian Agricultural Company was formed in London in 1824 to produce wool in New South Wales for sale on the London market. The company used its initial grant of one million acres of land around Port Stephens for raising sheep plus 2,000 acres in Newcastle to mine coal. The company brought more than 700 workers from Europe to work at the Newcastle Colliery, or as managers, shepherds and labourers on its extensive pastoral estates. From the 1930s, the company gradually phased out sheep in favour of raising beef cattle in the Northern Territory in Queensland, which continues to this day. The records of the Australian Agricultural Company are used to study genealogy, land use, and the wool industry and are included in the UNESCO Australian Memory of the World Register. These posters, calendars and artworks were collected by ANU researcher Dr David Marr over the course of his career. They are a mix of prints and original works from the 1930s to the mid-1990s. And while they focus on the Vietnam War and Vietnamese politics of the time, 
they also refer to Laos, Cambodia and other regions. There are examples of works from North and South Vietnam, France, Russia, Australia and the United States. The posters are used to study propaganda, art and the organisations and events they promote.